Hi, welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Benjamin from AWS, and with me here today is Robert from F5. Hi, Robert. Hi, Ben. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining. Um, Robert, tell me a little bit about what F5 does. F5 makes software technology that uh, intercepts application traffic and then manipulates it to make applications faster, safer, or more available. OK, and, and today we're focusing mostly on your WAF solution. Tell me a little bit about what that does. OK, yeah, sure. So a WAF, or Web Application Firewall, Um, it has one simple job. It's there to intercept traffic between an application and a, a client, and it's to examine it and make sure there are no threats to the application inside. Things like SQL injection attacks or an application layer DDoS or a data exfiltration attempt. And it's there to, to intercept the traffic and then to block a threat if it occurs. Right, and, and some people may know that AWS offers a WAF solution. Tell me about when F5's WAF solution becomes relevant or interesting. OK, so there are, there are probably two ends of the spectrum where an, an F5 WAF is a, is a good thing for a customer. One is if you, uh, if you don't know anything about WAF, you don't have uh, anyone that's particularly specialized in it, but you know that you need one. Because one of the nice things about this solution based on our CloudFormation template is that when you start up uh, the cluster of, of WAFs based on, the, based on the CFT, then it builds a security policy that we've pre-configured. You get to choose a level and you get a, uh, an F5 designed and supported security solution. The other end of the spectrum is we've been making WAFs for probably over 10 years now. And we have lots of customers out there that have a WAF on premises that have they've spent time and effort to develop their own security policy. And now everyone's moving to AWS, and so they want to bring that security policy with them. So really, you know, if you know nothing or you know everything, then uh, an F5 solution is a great, great one for you. OK, very cool. So, so I might be a customer that has a web application on AWS, and it's fronted by an EOB. I know that I need a WAF, but I don't know what I need to configure in it. And so you have these predefined policies. Absolutely. Alternatively, I may be a customer that's using F5 in a different environment. And so I've invested some time in configuring my security policy exactly to my exact specifications. Mm -hmm. It's been blessed by my InfoSec team. Now I want to bring that into AWS. So tell me what that architecture kind of looks like? Yeah, it's probably good to talk about what, what happens when, uh, when we start the CFT. Obviously, uh, like most CloudFormation templates, it's going to ask us some inputs, you know, the number of uh, instances you want to start with, how big you want to scale, where you want to run it, and things like the throughput metrics, is, which is what we use to scale on. So once, once you've supplied that information, it's going to deploy a number of, uh, of WAF instances. Usually, you'd start with two, um, just so that you can have high availability provided by ELB. And this will be multiple availability zones, same as what my application is running. Exactly like that. Multiple availability zones, um, just the same as we, we built this to work inside Amazon. So it's entirely ready to work in a multi-availability zone. The first thing the devices, the, the devices do once they're up and running is to pull their config. Uh, this is a change from uh, maybe an on-premises environment where you build the config. Here we're, used, we're expecting the config to be provided, um, usually in an S3 bucket. We'll pull down our WAF policy and our app delivery policy onto uh, the master node. The master node will also write cluster information into an S3 bucket as well, so that all of the other subsequent devices as they come up are able to query the S3 bucket, find who's in charge and where the config is, and then build their own config from that. And so you've really transitioned this product into being something that can run in a stateless fashion, which is very sort of native to the AWS platform. And so that way you can automatically scale it dynamically. You confront it with an EOB. And so it sort of becomes very, very natural and native on, on AWS. Absolutely. We've tried to use cloud, cloud native uh, way of doing things so that you know, we use ELB for high availability. Um, and then we'll use the, uh, the standard SNS and CloudWatch for auto scale events, and then we'll store the config in an S3 bucket. So uh, these devices are essentially stateless. If we, do a, if we do a stack upgrade, we'll pull the config back from the external storage in, in S3. Um, when new members join, they get their cluster information from the S3 bucket, um, and we work in an entirely cloud native way in this environment. OK, great. Um, so thank you very much for talking to us about um, how F5 does their WAF solution on AWS. Um, thank you for joining us, and thanks for watching This Is My Architecture.